I've been riding a bicycle for as long as I can remember. Bikes have been in my transportation mix since I was in grade school. In my teens, I used my parents' car for dates, but I still rode my bike more than I want to admit. When I went off to ASU, I took my bike. Then someone took it from me, and I had to downgrade to a beater. It was so embarrassing that I thought I was back at Island Lake Elementary School. At least I didn't have to lock it up. I bought my first car when I was 21 and headed off to California. The first thing I did when I got there was to buy a bike. In my 20s and 30s, I considered myself to be a cyclist. I bought a neon green Trek 1200, got the goofy pants, the clip-on pedals, and the shoes. I spent my weekends blazing up and down Coast Highway, a mixtape blasting in my Sony Walkman playing leapfrog with the cars. We hopped up and down the coast from Santa Monica past Malibu and on to Trancas. On the beach, I'd kick off my shoes, roll up the spandex, and spend a few minutes sprawled out in the sand. Then, I'd turn around and head back home. I spent long days on that bike and covered thousands of miles of Los Angeles roads. When I moved to Chicago in the early 90s, I bought a mountain bike. My burnt orange Klein was state of the art at the time. The difference between riding along the Pacific Ocean and Lake Michigan was huge. But I still rode. I even started doing mini triathlons. I found I could hide my swimming and running deficiencies with my biking. All I really wanted was to ride the 26 mile courses. When I came back to Arizona, I brought both bikes. Because eight months of every year, Arizona is a biker's paradise. For years, I rode each bike relentlessly. Until I discovered my cruiser bike. My firm, strong bruiser is a black beast of a machine. It shares the garage with my sleek road bike and rugged mountain bike. But these days, the cruiser gets way more road time than either of those. It's hard to argue with its cushy seat, fat tires, and iconic handlebars. I look at it and it just says, ride me. When I'm on it, I sit upright. My view is panoramic, and I feel like I'm in a parade. I ride it everywhere, and it is that bike that inspired this sight. That's what one short ride is all about. Regular bikes ridden by normal people to go someplace, to get somewhere. The exercise freaks and the eco-geeks have their sights. And that's good, because the world needs to get healthier. But we're not about that. One short ride is all about riding a comfortable bike and enjoying the trip. As a die-hard cyclist for over 50 years, I know how much fun cycling can be. But if you haven't been on a bike for years, I'm here to tell you that it isn't spandex, scary shoes, and crazy drivers anymore. And it's not insane deadly downhills over massive boulders. Biking today is fun and simple. And okay, it's good for you and the environment. That's why I'm asking you to take just one short ride. Choose to cruise instead of drive. Maybe you'll like it and you'll do it again. And again. And at that point, we've got you.